welcome to my channel, Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into the weekly, February 8th, 2 to 14th for Aries, all right? So if you uh, want to get a private reading, follow the link at the top of your screen. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. We're going to get right into it. We're going to pull out your love oracle cards. Pull out three of them as we normally do, and then we'll get into your animal spirits, and then we'll pull out your forecast for the week. All right, guys. Um, this video is premiering in the morning, so good morning to all of you. All right, Aries, let's see what's up for your week. Straight out, we have the golden mirror. So the golden mirror is really, there's two mirror cards in the deck and the golden mirror is really all about sort of, let's move this up a bit, all about being obsessed, right? The narcissist, it's like your mirror is the best mirror, right? We have karmic relationship. So being caught up with someone who, um, the relationship is difficult, right? Triggering, tumultuous, and separation. Wow, Aries. This is a week, huh? You're dealing with a lot of sort of toxic energy this week. Let's see what your animal spirits are. I'm going to pull those out for you, and then we'll get right into your spread. Interesting. Of course, we know this is only one reading. There's so many of them out there. So if this doesn't relate to you or resonate, that's fine. It's not for you. Aries has for animal spirit. The tiger. So overcoming fear, right? So this is interesting. If we talk about these type of um, oracle messages, right? Part of dealing with a karmic relation or separation would be to overcome fear. We have the turtle, water energy. Turtles associated with earth and spirit. And the crocodile, more water energy. Interesting. All right. Let's get right into it. Aries, you have some heavy hitters this week. Tiger, of course, is fire energy and is associated with overcoming fear. This is a really strong feminine energy. Uh, the tiger is a sort of uh, feminine lunar energy, definitely uh more akin to sort of lunar forces and, and, and feelings and energies. The tiger is synonymous worldwide with fear, right? Um, oftentimes, if you look at other tarot cards or tarot decks, you'll, if you see a tiger somewhere, usually the symbolism there is either dealing with fear or overcoming fear in some way. The tiger hunts at night. Right, and so that crescent moon at the third eye of the tiger is just an indication of how Sorry about that, my camera just cut out. So I was talking about the crescent moon at the third eye being an indication of exactly sort of how in touch with it, its to intuition that the tiger is, right? The tiger, um, you know, trusts its experience, trusts its gut, trusts its intuitional sort of voice to hunt, to live, to survive, you know, to make it in the jungle, right? And so... When we talk about overcoming fear, we're not talking about forgetting your fear, or suppressing your fear, and somehow just, you know, removing it, which is really not possible, but it's it's the ability to say, yes, I may be frightened of the outcome of the situation, but I do trust myself. I trust my voice. I trust my intuitional voice. I trust my experience. I trust my own opinions, you know? Um, and, uh, and this is really the way to deal with uh, any situation that's causing us fear. Now, the turtle is one of these beautiful animal spirits that's a real mix between water and earth. The turtle is very earthy indeed, but its capacity to feel is so deep. The turtle has an empathy and a sensitivity for emotional situations that is really unmatched in a lot of ways. Um, but yet it is so grounded. Uh, turtles, um, animal spirit is associated with storytellers, right? Because storytellers are oftentimes gathering, you know, gathering stories 
uh, about situations that are emotional. They may be poignant. You know, they have to really understand the pathos in a story to be able to sort of take it in and then sort of regurgitate it, right? Or sort of tell, retell the story, right? And so this is the thing with turtles, you know, this will be someone who's like maybe a journalist, right? Um, or someone who is a field journalist who goes out into very difficult environments and writes the story about what's going on, right? Uh, someone who may be um, a social worker, right? These are the type of individuals who are able to remain grounded and emotionally stable while at the same time being sort of completely... Uh, I want to say, uh, submerged in a very emotional situation. Now the crocodile is more water energy and the croc crocodile is a very interesting creature. It's not one of the animal spirits that comes up very readily, but the spirit of the crocodile reminds us to wait. It reminds us to slow down. It reminds us to gather our strength before we make our move, gather our strength, gather information, right? Um, get a real picture of what is going on. And certainly if we're talking about a water sign, we're talking about getting an emotional picture of what's going on, right? Before reacting, you know, checking in to see where you are emotionally, you know, where you, the situation is emotionally. All of these things, gathering all of this and then um, being extremely patient, clearly, right? Uh, and then methodically making a decision, Right. When a crocodile it moves, it does move with certainty, right? But not after a while of figuring out, you know, what its next step is. All right, Aries, let's get right into your spreads for the week. My regulars already know this is the format for the weekly readings. I do three forecasts for the week to see what you may or may not be going through. Now, these forecasts are intended to be separate from each other and therefore for separate areas. You may not resonate with all of them. You only may resonate with one of them or a portion of one of them, and that is fine, okay? We know that this reading can't be for all areas. Show me what's going on. February 8th to the 14th for my lovely fire sign, Aries. I'm a Sagittarius myself, but I do love me a an Aries boy, they are so much damn fun, and um, I don't know, I generally get along well with Aries men, interestingly enough, all right, there you are, showing right up in your reading, Aries, Emperor is, of course, your card, Judgment, and the King of Pentacles, well, there you have it, Aries, you're showing up in your own reading, coming into the week with a real fiery energy, of course, right, now, I do get comments from people sometimes when I mention that a card is associated with a certain sign, I may get a comment saying, well, I don't know no Aries or I don't like Aries or whatever. Just because the tarot card is associated with that sign has nothing to do with whether or not you're going to meet an Aries, right? First of all, we are more than our sun signs. We have other planets, houses, everything, and this astrological natal chart is very involved. Um, and so it's really ridiculous to try to tell you what sign you might be dealing with. The only thing that we can say, though, is that Aries is associated, or the emperor, um, we've associated with the sign of Aries because the emperor is sort of the one who goes out into the world. He conquers new territory. He's fiery. He's formidable. He also brings order to a lot of, uh, he brings order to a chaotic situation, right? He brings order. He brings discipline. Um, and he's an authority, right? Um, now, his authority is not necessarily by example. That would be the king of wands. But his authority is fairly absolute. And this is, of course, the divine masculine. When we talk about authority, we talk about authority over men on earth. So this is oftentimes going to be the person in charge, right? And this is your week. You're coming into this week with this whole kind of vibe. You know, you're really on top of your game. You may be uh, trying to set a particular situation right that has gotten sort of out of hand. When we look at the Oracle cards, it could very well be that some of you are coming into this week trying to bring order to a particular relationship that has gone very karmic, that has become very karmic and out of control. In any case, you're met with judgment energy, and this is interesting. Somewhere along the line, there is a feeling of reconciliation coming in. Somebody wants to have a conversation or a talk about um, what happened, 
You know, it could be... Because judgment talks about very much sort of being able to see situations from more than one side, right? Understanding after a certain amount of life experiences, understanding that not everything is from your point of view. Not every situation can only be seen from your point of view. And once we understand that, we begin to sort of not only forgive ourselves, but we begin to forgive other people as well for decisions that we may not have agreed with because from their point of view, maybe it was a right decision. Um, and this is all associated with this energy of the judgment card. So somebody feels like somebody is wanting to reconcile with you, feels like there is a situation that is calling perhaps for a reconciliation of some kind or a meeting of the minds and understanding. You round your week off with a king of pentacles. So I want to say this could very well be in the area of work or your business, right? Your financial stability. King of pentacles, I want to say, is a person uh, that is coming in for you this week. Because you round your week off with king of pentacles. But um, it's more a feeling that this is the person that you're kind of wanting this reconciliation with. Or they may be wanting the reconciliation with you. And it feels, again, it feels very much like a work partnership or a business partnership where there may have been a falling out. Um, and it's time for you guys to really talk about it, right? Um, maybe, you know, just, just hash it out. You know what I mean? Just hash out whatever has been going on. It could be that you guys have been in separation for a little while. We do have separation up. And the love oracle cards, I know they're love oracle cards, but they're not necessarily just about love relationships. They can be about friendships or, or, you know, work relationships, etc. So... This one feels very much like a partnership or a work relationship or maybe even a creative relationship in some way where this is the week where you're going to be sort of getting back together and making up in a way. Ace of Wands, World, and Four of Wands. So some of you are coming into this week with Ace of Wands energy. Uh, this is a love connection, okay? So Ace of Wands is a real feeling of, you know, we know that cups are associated with relationships, but wands are associated with passion and that fire that drives us. So in a lot of ways, wands can also um, determine the different sides of relationships as well. Ace of Wands is the phallic symbol in the deck. So a lot of times when Ace of Wands comes in, it can indicate a really strong physical attraction, a magnetic attraction, the beginning of something new with somebody, a new attraction with somebody, something you feel very passionate about, certainly. And it can definitely indicate a connection with a person that you feel passionate about. So you're coming into this week with this on your mind. Um, you're met with world energy, and the world card really feels like everything this week is going to be working out for you. It feels like, you know, a lot of happy coincidences are happening. Um, it's going to feel like um, you know, oh my God, this was meant to be. I was meant to meet this person. Because the world card talks about, it's the energy when, you know, everything in our in our lives or in our environments, in our like little world, right, seems to slot together, seems to work out, seems to sort of just be where it needs to be. The world is all about sort of fate and destiny and things going the way they should go. And it, oftentimes it definitely talks about sort of this feeling that everything is kind of conspiring around you uh, to allow the things that are meant to happen to happen. So this is why I say this week for some of you, you may have met somebody new and then this is going to be a whole week of maybe like you might run into them suddenly. You know, you never met them before, but now you run into them three times in the same week. Or there's these, you know, various coincidences that are happening that are somehow connecting you with this person. By the end of the week, you are absolutely determined to make a love connection with them. Four of Wands. You know that this is right. And this is what I mean. The world, the, the energy of the world card is making you feel certainly proving in a lot of ways to you that this relationship is meant to be. That this is certainly a new sort of soulmate connection. A new twin flame journey in a lot of ways. Uh, Four of Wands is Venus in Aries energy, Aries. So it's certainly talking about a new connection in love with beauty and understanding. Definitely a high level of attraction. All of that. And you feel like it is so, so right. Six of Swords. Here, Fent. And Justice. So some of you are coming into this week. You might be moving. 
Six of Swords talks about possibly moving. Um, the essence of the card, though, is, is getting away from sort of strife and turmoil and moving to a place in your life where there's harmony. Six of Swords is this desire to be around people who have the same mentality as you, the same outlook as you. You know, it's like if you were raised your whole life in a ghetto, and it's just like you don't want to be around ghetto people. You know, like you don't have anything in common with them. You know what I mean? I don't mean them, but I mean, you know what I'm talking about. If, if, you've, if you were raised in a particular environment, uh, you know what I'm talking about. And it could be the same way as if you were raised in a very affluent sort of environment and you're around people who have that sort of mentality of elitism or entitlement. And it's not your mentality. You know, you're always butting heads with them. You're never understanding each other. Six of Swords... And I say that because one group of people is not valued any more than another group of people. There's no value here. It's just that, do you jive mentality-wise or not? Are they your tribe? You can be raised in a certain environment and still not feel like that's your tribe. Well, Six of Swords is all about a, an intention and a really strong desire to be with your tribe, right? And so all of a, a lot of times, it can mean that you're moving. A lot of times it can mean that you are uh, changing jobs, uh, moving towns, moving environments, whatever the case may be. It can be an actual physical move or it can just be a decision that you make to turn your back on certain types of people or certain type of social scene. You come into this week and you find the hero fan. That's a real feeling of doubling down spiritually. I think for some of you, you may be moving away. From a particular environment that does not encourage your spiritual growth. And so this week, um, after making this decision and moving forward with it, it's like you double down with your commitment to your spiritual center, your moral center. The Hero Fan is the card for commitment. It can re represent commitment in all kinds of situations, but sometimes it is simply just the commitment to your spiritual self. It can also sometimes mean... Uh, meeting a healer or a teacher or a wise man of some sort that is within your spiritual sort of uh, purview, right? Uh, wheelhouse, right? And this person comes in and is a new source of inspiration for you. In any case, this comes in for you this week and I think it really reminds you that you've made the right decision. You round the week off with justice and justice is all about bringing balance to the situation. So it can be that I feel Aries like this might be a backlash. You may have had a really difficult time recently with the people that you've been dealing with. And I'm going to say it almost feels to me, Aries, like um, if you're resonating with this reading, perhaps things for a while were really sort of becoming, they were unbalanced, right? You were just so much around people that you just were not jiving with. You're not getting along with them. It seems like everything is, is going wrong. Nothing is sort of working out, you know, uh, where you're at, right? And you just get so, like, fed up, right? Um, and then you leave. You know, you make this decision to leave or to turn your back, and you kind of swing all the way to the other side with this hero fat, where you're just very, very, almost very judgmental on a spiritual level or on a sort of moral level. You might be, like, having overcompensated, you know what I mean, with this imbalance, uh, into an even on the other side an even more extreme sort of uh, parallel to that right it's like and that happens when you're really pissed off sometimes with a particular scenario you're really fed up and it's interesting that your week rounds out with justice because I think by the end of your week Aries you realize that it's all about balance you know you realize that you may have thrown the baby out with the bathwater here or and you may have really gotten a little overzealous here and it's a bit of balance it's a bit of understanding that needs to happen and that's how you round your week off. All right, guys, this is your reading. I hope you enjoyed it. February, um, what is it? February 8th, 2 to 14th for Aries. If you want to get a private reading, please go ahead and follow that link at the top of your screen. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Don't forget to check out my new daily outlook. Every morning at 9 a.m., I have four videos in the elements, air, water, fire, and earth. And in each video, we go over the daily outlook for those signs. So every sign has a daily outlook, and they're just short and sweet. The videos themselves are only like 10 or 12 minutes, and they premiere every morning at 9, so you can just start your day off with a little bit of insight on what you might be going through. Again, not readings, not all readings are for all people. 
And that's it, my lovely Aries. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Leave me a comment. Give it a thumbs up. All of that good stuff. And I shall see you next week for your weekly. Bye-bye now.